In this tutorial, we'll take a look at pivot points right here. And these are really important. And they can mess you up if you don't know them really well. So it's, it's just good to get grounded in the basics. So we have a couple of objects in the scene. And let's just do a couple things here. Let me see. I'm going to make this run out to, say, I don't know, 180 frames or so, somewhere in there. Maybe one more. 180, you can just type it in like that. And then I'll uh, start down here at frame 1. And I'll press I and press rotation and if I just start then if we move over here first to 180 and I press RZ to rotate it let's see where it rotates it now so it's rotating it around the center that's okay but before I do that what I really want to do is I want to parent this to this so control P parent that press that one first shift hold that press control P parent that like that then here at 180. Now let me press RZ and rotate these like this and then press I and rotation. And let's see if that is working. Okay, so there's a parent to do that. This is rotating. So now let's see, it just was happened to be by luck that it's rotating around the center. And why is it? It's because my pivot is set at the median point. Well, since it's just a symmetrical object, the median point is going to be right in the center of the object. But um, I could have used the active element and it would have done the same thing. It would have pivoted around there as well. All right, so now what I want to do is I want to rotate these guys, but maybe in the opposite direction. So imagine if you had 20 of these around here, well, you'd have to go into each one, go to frame one, set a, set a uh, keyframe, then you go to 180 and you'd set another keyframe, then you'd have to do it for this one. But instead, all you need to do is collect this one here so they're both active I don't want that one active, I want this one active and this one active I'm on frame 1, I'll set a keyframe like this but before I actually set the next keyframe up at 180 I want to change the pivot point and this time I want to change it to the individual origins so now they'll rotate individually even though it's more than one object and up here at 180 I'll rotate this in the opposite direction, R, Z, and now they're rotating separately, like this. I'll spin them even faster, and then I'll set a rotation for that. Okay, so now we should have two different things going on. All right, so this is kind of be like, you know, your satellite planet kind of things if you're making something like that. So that's rotating separately, and then maybe this whole thing within a galaxy is rotating separately so we could do something like well sometimes the easiest way is to control things with an empty there's many ways to do it but we could use this cursor like that but maybe we'll just put a our cursor over here and we'll make sure he's higher up in the scene like this and at that location I'm going to add an empty to the scene so shift a add an empty and I'm going to make that the parent of these. So I have to press this first, shift and press this. Oh, don't want that. Shift and press that there. And then I'm going to parent that to the scene like this. And then I want to rotate around this element. So I could either use the pivot point as the active element when I click it. Or since the object happens to be sitting exactly at the cursor location, I, even in that case, I could use the 3D cursor. As far, but we'll use the active element. It makes more logical sense for doing that, but the other way works. And then back down to frame one, I'll set a keyframe for that rotation, and then up at frame 180, we'll uh, rotate this RZ, we'll rotate this around like this a couple of times, and I'll set a keyframe there, rotation, and then let's take a look at the whole thing. So now the whole thing should be rotating around that and that should be rotating so those spin around it and they should be rotating. Everything should be spinning. Let's see. That's going... That's going... Yes they are. We'd have to slow it down a little bit but if you look closely at each individual object you'll see that it's actually doing it. Alright and then one of the other really good ones to know about on these pivot points is this one here, the median point. So that would be if you have say you only had two objects in the scene like this yellow cube and the green cube and you wanted to rotate them around the center 
well, it would, your median point would be between those two objects. It would rotate it somewhere in this vicinity and rotate it around like that. All right, well, I hope that gives you some ideas about these type of editing tools. They're really powerful, and they can prevent you from getting into a lot of trouble, and they can also help you create a lot of cool designs. All right, well, that's it for this lesson, and I'll see you in the next lesson.